PGA National consists of five courses located in Southern Florida and is home to the Honda Classic, a premier event on the PGA Tour. The soil conditions and weather make for a perfect haven for nematodes. Director of Agronomy Lucas Harvey discusses hosting the Honda Classic and how he takes care of the nematode issues. PGA National opened in for play in 1981. At that time it was the Hague Golf Course was the original that has opened. We've since renovated that golf course in the summer of 2012 and renamed it the Fazio. Uh, we have five golf courses here, so our other four courses are the Champion Course, designed by Jack Nicklaus, the Squire, designed by George and Tom Fazio, the Palmer Course, designed by Mr. Palmer, and the Estates Golf Course. We do, on average, about a, roughly 166,000 rounds of golf per year over the five golf courses. And 80% of those rounds are done between November 1st and June 1st. So we're very proud that you know, we've been home now for seven years to the Honda Classic with many more years to come. Uh, for us, it's, it's been great. The last few years have been an extremely exciting time. Uh, having seen the Honda Classic grow into one, one of the premier regular tour events. Uh, matter of fact, this year, we broke our own attendance record of 193,000 for the week. Greens are affected the most when it comes to nematode infestation. They get a tremendous amount of foot traffic and, and you know, obviously a lot of stress and most of those rounds are in the slowest growing period for the turf grass. So any, any additional stress would show up you know, exponentially. Uh, for example, obviously nematodes. So we, we, need our, our, we need our root system, our root structure performing at the highest level in order to withstand just the foot traffic alone. Quarterly, we take uh, soil tests and, and run nematode essay, essays. Uh, and, and obviously, in certain areas, you could see the stress and, and telltale signs of nematodes. So between in-the-field observations and actual test results showing our nematode levels, we, we, knew we're, we knew we had levels that needed to be treated. The climate that, for the most part, on an average year, the nematodes can live, reproduce, and be active at least 10 months a year, if not all 12, depending on a warmer winter. Uh, we have sandy soils which they prefer. In some cases, we have some, some, some fairly sh sugar sand-like soils. So it's, it's a perfect environment for them. In order for our greens to perform at a championship level and have you know, the stint meter, the green speeds that our, our members and our guests expect, that the PGA Tour expects for the Honda Classic, uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, we have to have the healthiest turf out there. Harvey discusses what steps they take to test for nematodes and the application process of the nematicide. We consult with our, our, our turf PhD who comes and meets with us quarterly and reviews all of our soil tissue tests, nematode assays, and he's the one who, who turned us on to multi-guard. We use it on all, all five sets of our greens. So essentially for us, that's 15 acres, and everyone in the golf business knows your bread and butter, your, your, your number one priority is those three acres of greens, because that's going to make or break you. Obviously, you want perfection as, as close as you can to obtaining perfection on the whole entire golf course, but everyone you know, it starts and it finishes with the greens. Uh, so right now we're just treating greens, uh, but based on the, the stellar results that we're seeing, we're starting to look at uh, tee tops and maybe expanding out in the fairways. So it starts three to five days out where we choose to use a wetting agent to help suspend the moisture in the product in that top third of portion of the soil profile. Then the evening before the first application of MultiGuard, we, we water enough to try to get at least 70% field capacity. From there, then that would be our first application at eight gallons per acre. And then we just repeat that same process over again. And then this, the only thing being different is we, we still do the wetting agent three, 21 days later, we come back, do the, the wetting agent, come back three days after that, do the second application of MultiGuard at five and a half gallons per acre. Same thing the night before, we're trying to reach 70% field capacity. And then again for the third application, which would be at that same five and a half gallon per acre rate. The courses couldn't be happier with the results of MultiGuard Protect. Well, besides the fact that now the results that we're getting and how great the product works, one of the original motivations to try it obviously was the flexibility to apply it, whether it be spot treating, uh, only treating one green, two greens, the fact that we can use our own applicators, we don't have to contract it out, uh, we don't have to close the golf course for a 24-hour period, so you know the overall flexibility is just is priceless for us. We see from a, from a technical side, actual data results, when we take, when we take samples and, and get the nematode essays, you know, anywhere from three to four weeks following the applications, 
we're seeing in between app, even between each of the three applications. You know, especially the first application, we're seeing anywhere from a 60 to 80 percent reduction in, in nematode population. Like any tour event, regardless of uh, spectators, you know, crowd size or field, uh, we're still all on TV, and, and that brings a tremendous amount of pressure. And, uh, high definition has not been our friend because it really leaves no, no room for margin. So obviously, just like our greens on a day-to-day -day basis, using a product like MultiGuard to make sure every leaf blade and make sure that entire root zone is as healthy as can be to produce the strongest plant. We're trying to do that from, from tip to tip. It's a lot of pressure, but it's by far the most fun you could ever have for us. Uh, it's our time to be on stage, literally, uh, on, on primetime TV and that. Uh, and it's also fun to, to see the, player, the world's best come out here and play and challenge our golf course.